So I'm going to show you how to install OmniROM. Uh, I'll provide the links in the description below on where you can download it. This is for the LG D800. Uh, he released the build yesterday evening um, <clears throat> for the D800 and uh, other variants. And I'll just go ahead and show you what I'm going to install here. We'll get into recovery. If you don't have this option on the ROM you're currently using, simply press power and volume down, hold it until you see the LG logo pop up, let go, and then press both of them again. You'll be presented with a factory reset screen. Just press the power button twice. It will not wipe your device. It will take you to your recovery, whether you have twerp or clockwork mod. Okay, so we're going to do a clean install. Uh, I already have a backup of this, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, advanced. Dalvik system data and cache. You can see there we're going to swipe it over here, let it wipe, it goes pretty quick. We're going to go back, we're going to go back again. Because we're here, because it's fast, I'm going to do it again. You'll have people who don't care about doing it twice. Who cares? It's quick, it's fast. Don't complain about it if somebody feels more comfortable doing it. All right. Here we go. We got the Omni 4.4.2. 2014-0205 build for the D800 homemade zip. I'm using the PA Gaps modular full this time. I'm giving that a try. Uh, it's the 2014-0207, and I'm even going to flash Super User just because that's the way I do it. Okay, for these for this for Omni ROM. So I select my Omni, add another zip, do my gaps next, add another zip, do my Super User, slide, and away we go. Um, I'm going to pause it while it goes through. You can see the nice Lasky art there. Um, it does not take very long, but you don't want to sit here and watch this. Wow, so I literally maybe only saved you 30 seconds. Um, again, when you're not flashing an LG-based ROM, it flashes pretty quick. So hit reboot. You're going to see it for its first boot screen here. If you haven't ever seen the Omni ROM boot logo. Um, I've seen it enough that uh, I'm used to it, but it is, uh, it's nice. I'm going to pause it while it goes through. Alright, so uh, obviously you want to give it 10 minutes to let the ROM set in and uh, build its Cache and Dalvik, etc. Um, so it's ready to go. I'm not going to do that just because I have a backup that I already am going to go back to. Uh, hold on. Okay. And we're just going to kind of skip through this because I just want to show you the settings menu real quick. Okay, this is the Google Experience Launcher. It's the one that I use. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the reasons why you would want to use an Android KitKat ROM. I like being able to say, OK, Google, and it works. And I like having my Google Now pane. That is a preference. So here we go. All right, now let's talk about the settings, what you're presented with here in OmniROM. Okay. We got brightness control, notification count, notification or network speed indicator, network activity indicator, quick pull down, which I do use. Smart pull down, double tap to sleep on the status bar. So don't complain about not having double tap to sleep if you haven't enabled it. Buttons and layout. All right, that's obviously for your navigation bar. Dimensions, you can uh, change the height and width of your navigation bar. Uh, that was a request, and uh, Vertigo did add it. Um, quick launch. All right. Long press to kill. Menus. Here you go. I'll add the screenshot option in mine and screen record. Thank you. Notification drawer. Contextual notification. Okay, quick swipe. Active display. This does work, but I'll talk about that in the review since we're not doing the review yet. Turn it on, you can see your options here. 
uh, notification text, all notifications hide, low priority, pocket mode on or off, sunlight mode, redisplay notifications, exclude applications, show date, show AM, PM, turn off the display, threshold uh, proximity, display timeout, notification brightness. Okay, this is an LCD panel, so you will use power using native display, unlike amyloid. Um, clear all button and memory indicator. Okay, so those are the customization options. Obviously, if you want to change your battery, that is located in battery. And there you go. Other than that, let's scroll down here about phone. And you'll see you have Android 4.4.2. On the 4.4.2 2014-0205D800 homemade build, he does use the Pake kernel. Okay, and that's OmniROM. Um, well, huh. I'm going to show you some really cool features in OmniROM. In fact, I'll go ahead and show this to you now. This is one of the reasons why I was very glad to see this update. Omni Switch. You may like it, you may not, but you can't deny that it is a nice new at least it's a new addition to Android and a different way to switch between applications. And simply you slide across from wherever your target location is set at and you're presented with these options here. If you have favorites, which we'll scroll down here and we'll just add a couple favorites on here right quick. Add, we'll just throw a couple things on here. So now if I slide over, I now have this drop down, there you have it. Favorites, quick access to favorites, no matter where you're at. There you go. Switch between applications. Kill applications. Pretty easy stuff. Switch between the last application. There you have Omni. And we'll do a review on that here soon.